The meeting between Obama and President Hadi came just hours after a U.S. drone strike in Yemen killed four people. A Yemeni security official said the victims were al-Qaeda suspects. It was the third U.S. strike in Yemen in five days. Secretary of State John Kerry told Pakistanis on Thursday he hopes the U.S. will stop carrying out drone strikes in their country, quote, very, very soon. Kerry made the remarks in a television interview following a meeting with Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. He claimed President Obama has a very real timeline for ending the drone strikes. Meanwhile, an investigation by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism solidifies claims the CIA targeted rescuers at the scenes of earlier drone strikes in Pakistan. A report by a Pakistani journalist commissioned by the Bureau found five so-called double-tap strikes took place in mid-2012, one of which also struck a mosque. In total, the attacks killed 53 people and injured 57. A parallel investigation by the legal charity Reprieve found eight civilians died in one double-tap strike strike in Pakistan last July. Afghan officials say a NATO helicopter that was called to assist Afghan police at a highway checkpoint opened fire and mistakenly killed five Afghan officers. A spokesperson for the governor in the eastern province of Nangarhar said the police officers had come under fire and called for air support from NATO. Spokespeople for the U.S.-led International Security Assistance Force in Afghanistan provided a slightly different version of the incident to the Associated Press, saying the NATO helicopter killed five Afghan soldiers during an operation involving both international and Afghan troops. They said an investigation is underway. The news comes as the U.S. Army has launched a new investigation into allegations that special forces have abducted and killed Afghan civilians. Afghan President Hamid Karzai briefly ordered a ban on U.S. troops in the province of Wardak earlier this year over claims of the abuse and disappearance of nine Afghan prisoners. The U.S. military has denied involvement in the abductions, but has withheld the findings of an earlier probe. An Afghan translator recently arrested for his alleged involvement has accused accused the U.S. forces he worked with of committing the abuses. The translator, Zakaria Kandahari, says he knows of three Afghan civilians who were handed over to U.S. forces alive, only to later turn up dead.